If you want to see how I transform myself from this to this, tap into this video real quick. Tap in. Tap in. So today I'm going to show you guys how to do a look starting off with Bobbi Brown. I like to put that first. I like to put that underneath my eyes and just make sure you get underneath your eyes. Just massage that in there. And like, I'm trying to talk to the camera more. And the thing about it is like, it takes time to kind of learn how to talk to the camera. It's like you're talking to yourself, but you're talking to like an audience. I'm gonna put this Sculpt Facial Serum on my face. I got this from TJ Maxx. I just like to put a little bit of this everywhere. So I'm gonna use a face roller and I'm gonna massage my face. And this helps drain your lymphatic system. So you want to just like take it down. You can take it down your neck a little bit. Here. Get your jawline because you want that chiseled jawline. You want that chiseled cheekbone. Go on ahead and roll. Get the rolling with all this. Push it back. Get over here and over here. I'm just gonna wake up your smile. Activate. You wanna activate that smile. Start with primer today. I'm gonna be using this Laura Mercier primer. I love this primer. I'm gonna use some milk primer everywhere else. And I just use a little bit of that, not a lot. And I'm going to take that down my forehead, down my nose. You don't need a lot of this primer. There's something about this primer is you only need a little bit. And a little bit goes a long way. So keep that in mind. After I do that, apply some eyebrows. Like I'm just, I still do eyebrows first, okay? Like this medium brown pencil. I like to just brush up my brows. And we're going to do like hair like strokes very light you want to be very light with your with your hands and but underneath the brow you could kind of make it pretty defined but you want to be really light with your hands this is when like you got to tap into those yoga skills and things like that like you gotta like precision you gotta be precise at the end you know you could always go heavier just because the end and you want it to appear a lot more in depth and precise at the end so you want a little bit more pressure and you're going to be adding a couple more hairs than you would in the front. In the front you're just going to barely add a few brush strokes. Etch on your eyebrows. I don't like to go too crazy. I just like a really light eyebrow. Cause what? There's been points in my life where I went crazy with the eyebrows. We're not in that season right now. We're just going to do light. So this is Makeup Revolution Bright Light Primer. I'm going to use that in specific areas. For me, it's my nose. It's here. It's here. Everywhere that I pretty much want to glow is where I'm going to put this at. So underneath my eyebrows. So now that I did that, I'm going to get to painting now. It's concealer. I like these two. Rich and tan. I'm going to use that to sculpt out my eyebrows and to sculpt out my face. I like to start more so underneath the brow and just kind of like work my way and bring that back. At the top, carve that out. I got some brows, okay? So you got your brows. You're gonna take that in a little bit. Ah, there goes your friends. I'll be using this concealer, medium dark truffle by NARS. It's not underneath my eyes, so I like to just use this as my corrector. A flat brush like this, and I like to just spread that. So I'm going with a little bit of pan sand by Tarte. 
just a little i'm just gonna put like a little bit right here a little bit right here go in with a flat brush and very lightly blend that out into my nars and i'm only using a little bit very little because i like to use a lot of different concealers under my eyes so you have to kind of make it really a light layer because then it's going to look too heavy be very precise with it now i'm going to do a full coverage look so i'm going to foundation i'm only going to use a little bit does it look okay putting on some foundation i don't want to go too crazy with the foundation because it's hot you know it'd be hot outside in Houston, so we're just going to put a little bit somewhere your nose do i look crazy a little bit a little bit. It look a little light. So I'm going to go back in with some of this Dior. I look a little bit light. And I'm just going to... Now the thing I like to do with my foundation is go in with a brush. Take it over my brows slightly. Just so it doesn't look so harsh. Do that, and then I like to go back in with my foundation brush and then blend that out into everything, like so. You can use your brush and just kind of tap on your neck so you don't look too different. Then I'm gonna do my concealer. So that I'm gonna like to take it down my nose. Because I like to have a pointy nose or whatever. Okay, so I'm going to use this. I don't even know if they still make these. But this is from MAC. I found it and I was like, oh shit. This is an 8.5 Master Ma um, Match Master Concealer. I'm just going to use a little bit around my nose. And here. Here. Here and here. Now that I did that, I like to use Bobbi Brown as well. And I like to go here. Here. Here, kind of go back over it. It's just a little darker. So I like to use Mario B. That's what I use. Then that so that out. I have this blending brush. I'll just use this. Go in with that and just blend everything in. Take this in as well. Take this in. And then for my nose, I like to blend that out with a brush like this. You know, it doesn't have to be just like this, but it could be similar to a brush like this. So I like to just take it and just very lightly move the product. I'll go on with a beauty blender. I like to pat that in. And then like here too. I like to do my nose. Take that into your forehead, blend it into your brows a little bit, but the top of your brows, not like all your brows, just blend into the top of your brows. And then take everything into your nose, like with the nose, just try to blend it like as close as you can. Go into the center so it's not harsh and not too liney and press and then go underneath, press that in and go there, press everything else in like that. Okay. I like to go in with medium sand by Tarte. A little extra, you don't have to do this, but I like that extra highlight, so that's why I go in and I do this. I go in with a flat brush and I move that product just right there. And just right there. Leave that for a second, not too long, so go ahead and just blend it out. And blend it out really softly. You don't have to apply too much pressure because you don't want to move the product too much. So do it very softly with a soft touch. So I'm going to use Charlotte Tilbury. And I'm going to use a puff. And I'm going to go in there with the puff. And I'm going to press underneath my eyes. 
very lightly. Go in with some Laura Mercier and apply that underneath. Here. And around your brows. And just pretty much set everywhere. I'm gonna put some P. Louise primer on my eyelid. I'm just gonna pat that in. So, like, something that's life-changing right now, like, right now, I'm just trying to tap into myself and all the things that I'm capable of and how I can change the world for the better and make it a better place. Because there's so much going on in the world and it's just like, right now we live in a world where, like, everything is normalized. <laughs> and, like, even me, I normalized some things in my life that probably wasn't even normal. But, like, some things were, like, survival. So, it was normal to me. <laughs> But I never I never did anything I ever regretted in life, but I've normalized things that weren't normal in my life. Sometimes it was just me, period. Sometimes it's the people you're around. Sometimes it's it's just the nature of the world, the music, the culture that we're living in. So we just normalize everything. And it's just like, no, that's not how you do life. And if you're unintentional or if you don't know any better, you're going to do life wrong. Jacqueline Hill, bring the alarm palette. I'm going to use like this rush color right here. I'm going to use rush. I'm just going to tap that really lightly and keep it pretty low. You start to get to a point of life when it's just like what's the limit of when enough is enough. Like you know so it makes you just want to like live your life a little different and move around. Like, I want to move around. I want to set the new tone for the new generation. I want to be around people that want to do the same thing. You want to change the world you're not just like looking at it from just a you you perspective and it's just like how can we like make a difference in this world in this room now for the future generations to come because the generations now is like it's like sometimes you see them it's like they're dwindling and they're like listening to this music this culture is tricking them and like i said if you're not careful you're gonna just ride the wrong wave so that's why i want to be better and different because it's not just for me I don't have kids yet if I did have a kid I would want them to to be a part of something that's that's great not just like oh it's in shambles and we're just like hopeless about it you know and so I'm doing that I feel like it's the only color I want to use out that palette because I'm just doing like a real simple look today. I don't want to do nothing too crazy. I'm gonna go in with a flat brush and I'm gonna use this Juvie palette I like this white color right here. I'm just use that and I'm gonna keep it pretty low, but I'm gonna exaggerate my eye. So, and we're doing like two shadows today, okay? Something super easy. I'm not just going with one more color. It's gonna be a brown, the Jack Moon Hill palette. Oh, well, this one, it's a different Jacqueline Hill, but it's going to be a brown. I'm just going to put that in the center just to, like, give a slight intensity to this look. Very slight, very slight. It's going to give more definition. Go back in with a little bit more white and just intensify everything. No, this is really a simple look, like, I ain't lying, this is like the simplest look. There we go for the eyeshadow. Now I'm going to put some eyeliner, I'm going to put some liner, it's just some Nika K. I'm just going to put some black liner underneath here. This is like something that, if you have like, certain type of eyes don't need this, but for me, I like to do this for my lashes, so that's why I like to put up some black liner underneath my eyes and I'm also going to put some liner at the top Inglot liner I got the Inglot oil too because you know what baby sometimes I'll be trying to play with you a little bit
I just start my liner in the center of my eye and then go back and work the way to the front. And I like my liner pretty thin. So this is what I like to do. The girls, the girls that know how to do perfect liner, y'all deserve a reward. Y'all deserve a trophy, okay? You feel baby. But I mean, I feel like it's all in like the way that you are. Like, relax your mind and relax your like nervous system. Then go ahead and do your liner. It's gonna come out pretty good. It's gonna come out pretty good, but you gotta be real calm, you know? Be real calm, so. I'm gonna go over it, make it super dark and as straight as I can make it. Okay, and then I like to go in with um, a liquid liner on top. But first, before I do that, I'm gonna set everything. Like I like to set my face and put the powders on and then I like to do the liner at the end. I'm gonna show you. go in with a brush and you're just going to MAC NC45. I'm gonna use that and I'm gonna pat that in everywhere. Go in around my nose and right here. Okay, here, same thing, and then go around your nose contour. Just pat that in, and here, patting this in as well. We live in this like mean girl ass generation where like the girls want to be mean and they want to prove a point, and it's just like I don't understand what points you're trying to prove. That you was a hard working ass bitch. You could be strong. Like I got muscles. Like I ain't trying to prove that I'm like this strong ass bitch. Obviously you can see I got strength. So like I don't even need to like try to prove this point of like being this strong person. So that's where I'm at right now. Like I ain't trying to just prove no points to nobody. That I'm strong. <laughs> Definitely capable. You want to get right there and make sure it's no lines medium plus that's the last thing i like to do and i like to just use a little bit and just pat it like that just like get underneath your eyes okay and to look a little bit more chiseled than this so okay we're gonna chisel this out just a little bit a little bit more i'm gonna be using this patrick tighty Okay. I mean, I'm be using this for contour. She's chiseled. I use this to contour because I want to contour myself just a little bit more. And this is a different type of contour because it has a powder and a cream. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the powder first. We'll go in with. I'll just use this brush and I'm going to use the powder and I'm going to go in and chisel out my cheekbones. And just go in a little bit and it gives like a, a brown if you don't want that like that brown that looks red this is gonna give you that it's gonna give you very it's brown very like it just gives you a very rich brown this is a very rich brown it doesn't give that reddish undertone it doesn't give that orange undertone is very true to color so I like to use that and I like to just chisel everything out just a little bit it's good I like it I love it and put some at the top of my forehead as well and I'm just gonna put a little bit <laughs> so, go under there if you want but I'm gonna take some down there the cream I'm going with the cream and just put a little bit on top of that so just and this is just going to give a more natural skin finish to go in and use the cream on top of the powder. It's different. But we're going for a skin finish. So we use the cream on top of the powder. The forehead. We'll just blend everything out. So after that, we are going to apply the blush okay so i'll be using she's a doll and it's also by patrick and so i'll be using the pink color first i'll just use a smaller brush so i'll use this brush right here this pink color here and i'll 
少なくなったのにあああああ食べたい時間の食べたい食べたいもう一回もう一回。Great for me to contour with. I'm gonna try it with the Patrick T. t o so I'm gonna just use a little bit. Put it here. Okay, so I'm just gonna put a little bit here and a little bit here just to chisel out my nose a little bit. Take some into your brows if you want, just to kind of blend everything out. Yeah, I like to blend that out so it doesn't look too like harsh with the lines. I'm also gonna go in over there with this Sephora blush because I love this color right here. And I'm gonna put that over it. It's just gonna soften it out just a little bit because, yeah. Put a little bit. There's your look. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay, so now we're gonna put some setting spray. So I'm gonna use this Hydrate and Fix. Just Makeup Revolution Fix and Glow. I got some on my hair. This something for. It's gonna give me a luminous. I go in with some liner. This is some Black Radiance liner. And I'm just going to use that. After I set it, I just go back in with powder again. Why do I like to do this? Because it just sets everything some more, makes it not move. Dark tan. The dark tan, I'm just going to go in in the center of this and just kind of blend that out right here. Oh my gosh. I was not what I was supposed to do. Yeah, I want a little bit of dark tan just to kind of get a little fade. And blend it out. Just because I need a transition, you know? So that's why I put dark tan right there. Give me a plus and make my eyes. I'm gonna put my lashes on. Just give me a second. Now I'm gonna do a lip combo. Okay, so. I'm gonna use all these different browns. So, first brown I'm gonna start with is LA Girl. This is a really dark liner, so you only need a little bit. Lightly. Now, I'm gonna go over it with this LA Girl's another brown. It's called Chocolate. LA Girl Chocolate. And I'll go over that. Go in with some jealous. I had to barely go over my liner. I'm gonna go in with this YSL. And I'm just gonna put like a few dots. So I'm gonna go back under everything and add some mascara underneath my lashes. Oh, just a little bit.
add a little bit at the bottom too. And this is my completed look. I hope you like it. Take this off. Put <laughs> this in the center. This is driver. Put a little bit of that. It's just to neutralize it out a little bit. Give it more of a matte look. Okay, I'm gonna do my hair real quick. I'm gonna do my hair. 